what's the seventy million co- seven million dollar contract look like? What that sign of I hey? Mean, I mean, what no that sign of bonus look like? Because in Baltimore, they give you the check live. Big wait, big signing bonus? They give you the check live, Cam. You don't hear me. Most times they just they depo- just they normally try to like dabble with your signing no, check. They like, try to like just direct deposit it. Mm-hmm. No, Baltimore give you that live check. Like big check? Live check. Like they know you won the lottery. Come get this. I took it to the bank. Really? <laughs> I said, excuse me, sir. Uh, I have to bring a check in here, but I don't want you guys to be concerned about how much is on this check. <laughs> I don't want to have any problems when I come in here. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to come right to the mouth. He's like, okay. I'm like, I don't want any problems. Oh, man. Here we go. Trust levels. Season three. On the biggest of the trust of the levels, I got myself, I got my guy, Mark Ingram, my co-host, my compadre, uh, my dog, my three-time Pro Bowl Saints all-time leading rusher, and I'm going to keep dropping the line because he is that dude. Oh. Him. That man Mark know how to Ingram, intro something. I'm going to tell you second. that. I'm going to tell you that. That man know how to intro something. And, you know, like I said, I'm his co-host. He's my co-host. I'm not sure how that works. But We're I'm, each other's co-hosts. Yeah, I'm, I'm Cam Jordan, and I'm the other half of Trust Levels. And I'm bringing to you my dog. I call him Dub, but he might be Marcus Williams after he got this big bag from Mr. Baltimore Ravens. You Marcus know, Mr. Williams. Money Williams. We call him Money Man. Junior. Yeah, yeah. Two-time All-Pac, 12 selection. Came in from the University of Utah. Had, like, five picks against Cal when they were playing. Or maybe there was, you know, their team had five picks. Yeah, Doug probably had one or two. That. It is what? what it is. Go Utes. What is a Ute? Go Utes. Um, we'll talk about that later. But, you know, Marcus Williams then drafted. I, I say it's big money round because second round, you know, he was second round, 42nd pick overall. That means he gets to re-up quickly. And he which did. He did. <laughs> which and I he did. did. Which he did. That being said, you know, <laughs> drafted to the Saints and now he's with the Baltimore Ravens in that black and purple. And Oof. now he's going to be eating crab cakes instead Oof. of crab legs from the notebook. Oof. But it is what it is. Oof. Appreciate you having me on, Oof. my dog. Yes, sir. You got damn Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Yeah. You better not say Baltimore. If you say Baltimore, <laughs> it's ba- over. Baltimore. 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 I'm going to say Baltimore because they know I don't like them and they don't like me because it's cold. Listen, man. But you, my yeah, dog you don't like the cold. <laughs> that boy does not mess with the cold. I'm not here for nothing hey, cold. That purple hit different too, it bro. It's crazy. I'm not going to lie. It's not like Barney purple. That no. thing like king royalty purple. Royalty. With the black helmets Ooh. at night. What's the your favorite light combo? Shining. Uh, All black. <laughs> the murdered out with the oh, yeah. straight. Yeah. Did, they come, out, did they come out with the uh, the new helmets for y'all yet? Because, you know, this year was the, the year guys Listen, are having new helmets pop up. The all perp go crazy, though. Mm. The all the color all waves perp. go crazy. So you you just dropped two. I just need to know what's your favorite color. Would you go Would you go color Listen, rush? You can't go, you, you can't go wrong with none of the Baltimore Ravens combos. You go all black. Mm-hmm. You go black on white. Mm-hmm. You go all white. Mm-hmm. You go white on the black. Mm-hmm. You go all purple. You go purple. Mm-hmm. You go black on purple. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Purple nerd. So that being said, which one's your favorite? You I hear you can't go wrong. Yeah. You got <laughs> you can I go mean, left, right. <laughs> you gotta go murder out though. Black, like black is always a vibe. Black on black with the black helmets. That's black just is offensive. beautiful. I mean, you know, that's just facts. That's probably that probably would be my favorite. All black, murdered out. That's why but, I came out with the black are you, turf are you, tag. Are you swag ragging now? Like you got the you nah, got the, nah. I just use I just, regular I basic tag. I don't know who you are Town. anymore. You know, I'm trying to figure you out. You know, hey, it's only been a couple months. This man. Red bottom. Red bottom. I shot a little. You know what I'm saying? Louis Vuitton. Uh, I'm just. He Mr. taught me that. I'm Mr. Jumpman. You know, it's what his fault. Hey, I'm matter of fact, everybody have, can't be Mr. Jumpman. Blame him for everything. <laughs> why you blame me? You gotta blame him. Hey. This is why. This is why I act like this. Cause of him. when I when I got look you at got the money. You know what he said? Yeah, you got it. Why don't you just? Why don't you get it, bro? You gotta enjoy the fruits of your labor. You have to treat yourself. Hey, I'll it's all know. within reason. Every time, treat yourself. Listen, I, I'm not Jumpman Junior. You get the packs coming in. You feel me? You get, you get yeah, the packs. We don't get so. nice shoes you know like that. Yeah, we don't get that. We gotta pay for ours. Hey, God is good, and y'all pay for y'all's. Woo! I got the red bottoms on Louis V drippers. I got these at a discount. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't want to talk about it. Anyways, I'm proud of you. Them shorts look, look like they ostrich skin. Free. Mm. Even hey, what's better than if, than pay if it's free? It's for me, and exactly. I'll take three, please. Ooh. Look, that that being said, you know. Um, 
from what I know of Marcus Williams, guy who got drafted like, you know, like when I got drafted, kept the same car when he got drafted. We That's did. no longer him. A guy who you That know, is no hey. longer him. Guy who only rocked Nike stuff because, you know, he was sponsored by Nike. That is no longer him. That As you can tell. Also true. Well, he is he's a part time model now, you know, and it, to his credit, you know, he just part time model, it. CEO, marked his winners. Mm -hmm. This man's just versatile. This man is just so versatile, man. And actually, real estate entrepreneur. Yeah. I'll say the the, the the track pants is pretty elite. I I made fun of him early on. I was oh, like, you got some? Yeah, I, I told you I bought some. Oh, you like them? They're, not, they're, they're, they're pretty, look, they're better than what I thought they was gonna be. You know I what got I'm saying? The, I got the windbreaker top. I be running in that thing. You don't right? even use it. What you mean? I work <laughs> out in that thing. It gives me a gray sweat. Okay. Let's start off with this. Where where did Mark those Mark those winners come from? It pretty much came from uh. Well, Marcus Allen Williams is my name, but Mark that's winners. I, I it was Marcus gonna be mentality. Allen? Yeah, what? Marcus Allen Williams. Like you Marcus learn Allen? stuff about teammates every Marcus day. Allen. I was, born, I was named Allen? after Marcus Allen. Wow. Because I was supposed to be a running back. Running. Supposed to be? I was when I was back in the day. Well, you made a good choice, my I friend. I was nice. <laughs> you made a good choice, my friend. I was nice. All right, Marcus Winners, up. aka Marcus Allen Williams, Williams Jr. But Mark does winners <laughs> are basically like uh some mentality, uh, you know, like a lot of people go through stuff, ups and downs, but you know, it's your own success. You find out through that adversity that you face. Like some people will get knocked down and won't get back up, but it's those people who get back up every time, that one extra time after they get knocked down. So being marked as winners is finding your own success, finding your own path, your own goals and going with that. That's not just sports, mm. it's, it's life in general. Mm. Lifestyle. See, man, you've always just been a positive mindset, just very self-driven. Like, what would you attest that to? Like, I know your mother, like your fam, like, where would you attest like She's your mindset? Like, she gonna make That's the pie. Huh? Man, that mindset. Mom's <laughs> makes the craziest she, nanner she pudding. No, the peach cobbler. The peach cobbler. Mama makes the craziest nanner. I mean, peach, peach cobbler. Peach cobbler? Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah, that mindset comes just from, you know, growing up with three older brothers and a competitive household, uh, having my grandfather, my uncles, we all, we all, they was always positive. They was always giving me good little bits and tips, you know, to stay positive no matter what happened, whatever went wrong. Like, I wasn't always the smartest when I was younger, but shoot, as time went on, I, I just know. got better I mean, and better. You had a 4.0 GPA in high school, so. But in middle school, wow. elementary school, wow. it was hard for me to comprehend reading. Cause you got small ears. <laughs> that has nothing to do with listening. Ah, I thought that was coming. There you go. Exactly. Got him. Nah, but it was hard for me to comprehend what I was reading. So as time went on, I just kept being persistent and and I just kept getting better and better. So then that mindset just transferred over to stuff that I was doing later on. 4.0. 4.5. 4.5? playing. You had college credits going into college. Mm. And that's why he was able to leave early. So how many? What'd you get on your SAT since I don't even know? I don't know. I didn't need it. it you didn't need it. <laughs> I didn't need a high school. You had score. college creds. I have 4.5. I didn't need a high but score. So what So what does that even mean? Like, how do you he get walked, a point five? He, he walked in. Well, you know, there's, there's advanced placement so, classes. There's like so, honors like, and AP you, classes. You, so you had college credits going into college or no? I had have, I have some college classes that I already took like in high school. So before you got to college, you had credits? Yeah, not, not a lot. Like six? Shoot, I don't know. I finished, I graduated college in like Did you? three and a half years. You graduated? Yeah. I went back to walk. Remember I was doing- Oh, college. I do remember that. I do yeah, remember I went that. back to walk. I was like, dang. One of us got to graduate. Because it's not- <laughs> Yeah. Um, and they're saying locker, 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 if you're, if you're looking for what it is. We used to play uh, basketball uh, on a little mini- uh, Seven mini foot? Hoop. Yeah, a little, little mini hoop. Yeah. Seven foot hoop in the locker room. And uh, you created a free throw line, and you pretty much do, you know, uh, you play the what's, the, what's the point game it's we play? It's 30, it's, yeah. because it's technically 50 if you play on a real hoop, but we don't have much time. Right? Yeah. So, so you got 30. So you played 30, um, which means every, you know, one man will shoot a free throw line. If he makes it, that's 10 points on the board. The next person will come up, and if he makes it, that's 20 points on the board. Subsequently, you know, another person makes it, 30 points on the board. If the next person miss, he's out of there. He's out of there. Cause AKA 30 points. Because what you're gonna do is gonna have to go sit at your locker and watch everybody else Matter play. Matter of fact, actually, you have to rebound. rebound. Loser. Touche. 
Two and then you go to your locker. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there'll be 10, 12, 15, 16 guys playing, and there can only be one champ. And if you let one of these two win, which you're happens, never, which you're never, you're which never here. You never hear the end of it. Most of the time, never, never hear the end of it. That's because they they do phenomenal job of strategizing who they who they go against. But it's okay. It comes back full circle. Because then you know, if you listen, win that, if you, I wasn't winning, he was winning, and then maybe every now and then somebody else won. But it was definitely. I know I'm getting a win a day. I may not get a lot of wins, you know, in succession. A win but a I'm day, get a win a day. A win a day might be stretching. Stretching. Mm, I'm usually a winner two a day, but I'm stick with the win. Cam, Cam, I am. I am. It just is what it is. Anyways, so beyond that, <laughs> we got it. We got. Let's take this back to young Marcus, young, 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 young tadpole Marcus, Marcus yes, Allen. Uh, so you say you started off as a running back. Yeah. When? When? And when did you start playing contact? I just like, like when did you start playing? Yeah. When did you start playing football? Uh, like nine years old. Contact. Full contact. Woo! Tackle football. How? What or eight years that? old. That's third, eight years third? old. Yeah. Fourth. Just about. No, like. Like, I don't know. I was like Pee Wee Pop Warner type Pop stuff. Pop Warner, Joe American. I was yeah, I was probably in like second, okay. third grade. What that was know? like, like it's tackle we, football. It was straight. It's, what the California football like though? Man, I mean, it's not like we don't got like big players, but we got we but got like, the fast speed. But like in Florida, like it's legendary, like Pop Warner, like football, like. I, I don't think know. Cali's I'm not from the over same, there, right? Cali's like similar, right? With the Snoop nah. Dog type, like yeah, yeah Snoop, yes, Snoop yes, Leagues no. was here. Yeah, it, yeah. it just depends on where you're playing. Like when I was younger, I just played against everybody in the city. So I don't know. Like there's some good teams, but I mean I'm young, so what I see is good. Somebody else may think it's weak. Yeah, my, but either way, like Pop Warner and like you know, Little League in in the South, like Florida, you're going to actually catch like a stadium full of right. like people. Yeah, we, we that, that are like we have bleachers. California, you like you know your family, your close friends, mm -hmm. and that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you got plenty of space on the sidelines. No, ain't nobody got to tell them to back up. Texas is, you know, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be a, a whole ring of people out there, gang of people watching. We don't got that. You know what I'm saying? You got to develop real skills what and have the played? pressure. What else you play? So you, wait, up. running back, what else? Running, I play running back, linebacker. All of it. Quarterback, receiver. Not quarterback. I played every position. You can't throw. I had six touchdowns a game. You definitely wasn't. I'm going to bring up, first of all, I'm going to get the tapes from my dad. He recorded them. Mm. And I'm going to... Put him on a CD. You're not, or, you're, not, you're not old enough to be VHS, so there was on a little. No, they, he, he recorded them. Okay, VHS. He recorded them. Yeah, like, this is this small important because you know you almost you small tape got to wind like, it back. You you like late nineties. You a ninety eighter. Yeah, you close. To I'm ninety six. <laughs> you really a two thousand? Why you got to round up at the ninety five? I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here now. Yes, you are. Duh. Yes, you are. Yeah, touche. Hey, it started so started off running back, linebacker. When'd you become quarterback? A safety? safety. Yeah, when'd you become safety? Uh. My senior year in high school. No. Yeah, we're gonna have to get to this. Look, I need I need to know, bro. So we say you second <laughs> second round, you got linebacker, middle, outside. I was junior all American was I was doing this. Junior all American. I don't know what that is. That's little league. Oh, okay. In high school, I only played receiver. Mm. I didn't do none of that after that. After I no wonder why you catch the ball decent. <laughs> <laughs> this man got probably more picks than ninety eight percent of the league. And his tenure in the league. Why Minus the 10 Cam took away from me. Here he goes. He going to blame me. That was a penalty. So what? I've had sacks and there's different DBs with penalties. It it's all comes full. What do I tell you? It all comes full circle. You'll get it back. And if get you don't, that's all right. Yeah. Never got it back. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll come to the sideline just like this. You stole it. No, no way. Every you time. took that from me. <laughs> Did they score? No. no. All right. So we're off the field anyways. You know, that's my fault. So receiver, when when did you start playing varsity? Varsity, uh, I played varsity my freshman year. Like the end of the year, they moved me up. But I was playing freshman my first year, and then the end of the year, they moved me up. Second year, the sophomore, junior seat, I was playing varsity. Receiver, a receiver, dogging. I was going crazy. He was going offers? I had first. I was supposed to get offered my sophomore year, right? By a whole bunch of schools. Then I transferred. Nobody, and I'm like, they couldn't track you. So they lost. say. I had to sit out five. I had to sit out five games because I transferred. Wait, what? Yeah, in high school, should have got school. that address. Yeah, you got to change. That address. I did. They followed me. <laughs> you got to sleep at that address. You got to sleep. I was. Address. No. So how do you they still get five games? Yeah. They how? were follow. They were first of all. They were following me to my other high school. I had to switch schools twice. Sorry, Smith. Uh, Wait, what? So I was going to another. I high transferred school. too, but I had that Addy. Yeah, you got to change. Right. You got to have an Addy change when you They move, were mad that move. I was leaving. 
Mm. So they were tracking to make sure, oh, he doesn't live here. They went to the address to see where I was at. They're like, no, he he You have to be sleep at the address at least for like a week or two. I would dare. They were following me. So they, then you weren't there if they were following you. I was. You. Then how? Yes, you were. You were they not there. Ca- they don't. They don't care. They just followed. They like. So they, they followed you going back to your house, basically. All right, so what high school do you claim if you've been to three of them? <laughs> like, I only I only went to one high school for like the summer. Okay. So I couldn't even play because they're like you're gonna have to sit out. Gotcha. Because they were like CIF rules, can't transfer. I had an Addy. California. What is? Yeah, that was back. What is CIF? Back then. What is the I and the F? The, CIF? Yeah, so what it's California Interscholastic, Intermediate, International. I don't know. Somebody got to figure it out. <laughs> All <laughs> right, cool. It. CIF. What other sports Football. you played in high school? Basketball. Big boings. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, Marcus, you had what? At Combine, you had a 42-inch vert? 40-inch vert. 43 and a half. Oh, oh. Look, I knew. Look, I didn't want to subpar you. Look, that, that's my bad. I knew it was plus and 40. A half? It was, so, it was 10, 10 more you inches. You ain't windmilling that thing, and, though. A uh, vert. Off vert. Off vert? Off vert. No, no, this is vert. No. You have you seen him bounce? Yes, I have. We went we went to the uh to the gym. It was You're not just the two Marcuses huh? in flip flops. Hey, the two the two Marcuses on our team, probably the best dunkers I've ever seen. Well, he does, he's not as acrobatic. He's just like he's like basic with his dunks, but it's impressive by the air he gets. Who's not acrobatic? Yeah, Dav- De- Marcus Davenport. Who's not acrobatic? You not like you not windmilling and going crazy. If you're man. a flops and you're I got doing old windmill, high school dunk off style. Vert. I, saw, I saw Marcus Davenport go off vert windmill and I said, "Oh, he just said he goes off vert windmill and flip flops." That's impressive. And flip flops, impressive. I can't dunk with my left hand, so that's always impressive. I don't have, I, for some reason the left hand just like it don't. It don't not track well. about you, Cam. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> I get jealous. I'm jealous. He said, he said I can't dunk on my left. This man just, he just goes. He's, he's dunking. He's going windmill flip flops. I'm like, I can't dunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. He's jumping in flip flops. So yeah, like, what yeah, kind? What kind of numbers yeah. you was pointing up though? I mean, you could jump, but you. I wasn't putting up numbers though. like that for real. Wasn't a hooper though. I was hooping. I was, you know, defense. I was like a real life hooper. Better. I was yeah. I just go buy people. I made it about me yeah. then too. But. Yeah, look at look at you. I be balling though, so some games you I'll do. Score, you do so, though, man. I will give it to you, bro. On that little show. It's not like I was the whole time. All four years? No, only three. When I transferred, I didn't play because I was gonna. So <laughs> basketball, football, no track. Track? I did had, track. I was a happy track. You, you look like a quarter jump. horse. High jump. Two hundred. No, no, you look like a jumper. High jump. Come on, man. But he got that long stride, though. Ain't you strong? So I'm like, that quarter and 200 looked like you would have been on that, too. But no. I hated it. <laughs> I did not like to run. That boy said, I hate what? Bro, you're the rangiest the, safety yeah, in the, the game. <laughs> you don't like to run. No, my track coach. Market, go go run a four. Right. Is that a woman or a man? Coach? It's a girl. Okay. <laughs> Lady. A woman. I saw the finger point in the. <laughs> yeah. If you was She's like, my... somebody's not here. You need to run the four. Right? Four by four. If you was it would have been running. I'm telling you that. Everybody, look, I'm a field event. I was forced to do track. And we run an open 400. I did not want to do it. I mean, but track speed is good for you. It clearly paid off. Clearly. 40 million guarantee. Okay, so basketball, track, high jump, state champ? No. Got he hurt. wasn't trying. You got I went hurt. to state. Yeah. Cause they put me in hurdles. Hurdles? Yeah. With 300 no, no meter hurdles. I won. 300. 300 hurdles. Ooh. Somebody, somebody got, somebody was hurt or something, got sick. That had to run hurdles for his race, and I won. Then I'm going to hit his, his state meet. His state meet. No, his no, state, you know, no, now state, state meet for you. Now I'm practicing hurdles, and I hurt, get hurt, hurt my back. Forget practicing. You hurt your back? Yes. My leg and my back. <laughs> Spinal, spinal. <laughs> my back is broken. Man, okay. So, so track was in, in practice. You hurt your back. In practice, not just not the game. Practice. We talk so about. Let's talk practice? about. No, let's just talk about this receiver thing. And then, how? Like, what made you go to safety? Like, because I was really like that at safety. Myself. I know you was. Remember how you hemmed him up at in the game oh, last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You saw that. You saw that yeah. form tackle. Form tackle. Yeah, man. It's just new. I mean, same it, it play, ain't same new. Shoulder. It's true. It ain't new. It's true. Man. Nah, so, like, so what like, happened? So I was playing receiver the whole time. That one game, somebody got hurt, and they threw me in randomly mid game. Like, mid game. Marcus, you going no to no practice? Never practice. Cover Never two. back pedal. Cover two. Just cover, cover half the field. Just nah, I just went. Cover three, per, man. Like you ain't go man. Just roaming in, man. Just roaming. Just standing, looking at the quarterback. <laughs> Had three picks. Ball that hop. Game. Three picks. First game of safety. Three picks. 
got offered next day. <laughs> but you've been working at wide receiver. Me. You've been working at wide receiver like, love me. I've been killing people, torturing them. <laughs> One game in. So what, that was your senior year they did that? Yes. One game. Aztecs. First first offer. Next day, San Diego State, Boise State. Ooh, that blue field's crazy. Huh? I, like, I like the blue field. As soon as I'm like, for real? I'm like, okay. I'm, playing, I'm about to play safe. <laughs> Call I, was me getting, I, was getting, I was getting all the offers. I got a whole bunch of offers then. Utah, and then Cal, UW. Then I was like, I thought you were going to be a Cal guy, honestly. You know, you're smart enough. left, though. Oh, Teddy left. That's when Teddy left. And, or no, Dykes would left. One Probably of, been Sonny Dykes. He he just got there. Yep. Sonny Dykes left, and then Wilcox came in. He was going crazy at the receiver, though. My dog had 41 catches, 924 yards, 22 yards a catch. In the seat? Yes. If you don't go for a bando in high school, I'm not impressed. Bro, I, I barely got the ball. 40 catches? 40 catches? 40 catches. 22 a yards a catch, that's a bro. High, that's a high clip. That's a high clip. 22 <laughs> yards a catch? That boy's getting chunks. <laughs> Clearly, they had, catching his first down. Clearly, they had no quarterback. Like, Well, not, he was the quarterback. He was throwing it to himself. <laughs> he was throwing it to himself. He was junior All-American. That's high school. Okay. Too sure. Yeah, that was high school. Yeah. Okay. Little so. league, I was playing quarterback. Got you. That's my bad. So he's just chucking it to himself. Right. <laughs> I got this. He. So they yeah. put you in. You get three picks. You start getting offers. What you just? I got three picks. Then I got two picks. Then I got one. So I got six in three games. The last like three games of the year. That's or? A only played only played like four games. At That's a six. phenomenal way to stack them. Stack them. Mm. Mm. Four games. That's eight. Then then I was getting offered to play safety. So what offers you had? You had like San, San Diego State, State Boise, Boise State. State. Washington, UW, Cal, Utah. Mm. Had the West Coast on. I ain't really, had, I ain't really had that many offers. I had like that. I had some more Mountain West. I, think. I ain't really had that many offers. San I Jose. Had like ten. I didn't even think. I, I don't even think I got San Jose. Dude, that's a, that's a that's a plate. I think I got Nevada. Okay, Nevada. Nevada was cool for a second. <laughs> for a second. Yeah, when, well, Cap, when Cap, Kaepernick, when Cap was there, yeah, that, yeah. that's about that's about all I got. For real. Yeah, I, I mean really that's, that's what that's, that's eight good, nine though. ten. I mean like, you got you had enough. So what visits did you go on? Utah and Cal. That was it? And we, it. we didn't land you? Uh, co coach change. Okay, fine, yeah. fine. And the DB coach left. Okay. When I, first of all, I went with the, the JC guys, and then they didn't even know who I was. Got there, I'm like, they're like, who are you again? I said, oh, oh I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Give, Don't my, worry about give it. my steak and lobster, and I'm out. Didn't even get that. <laughs> food didn't have no good food, nothing. <laughs> Dang. They're like, yeah, so we're going to need you guys to you know, write your... Uh, Entra entrance exam. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you guys even show me around. Damn, you trying to give me an entrance exam? I'm blaming on a coaching change. We we honestly have a phenomenal. Sound like you guys didn't have your stuff in order. You yeah, they, they clearly right. did not. Yeah. And I mean, that's why they've been losing the last eight years. Dang, this is your team. Yeah, I'm sorry to when hear that. When I was that. there, good thing Utah Monsters. won the Pac-12 championship. This Go year. Bears. Go Bears. <laughs> what is? You got some not. legends in. No, this that's University of Miami. No, it's not. That's Utah. That's I don't want to talk about Utah anyway. We lost to them too, but we didn't care about that game. But it's okay. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Look, that, that, that that one hurt. Oh, they don't have any national championships. Whoa. It's okay. I have to do that because y'all beat us, so I just have to throw the. I'm just gonna find. We're gonna do this. I'm one of the one of the few schools in this in this nation that has a national basketball and football championship. There's like five of us. Cal is one of them. Thanks, guys. Anyways, continuing. Well, when did this happen? Because nobody recalls. You don't even claim Cal. Oh, I do. I claim Cal all day. When yeah. you see me, you see B. Yeah. That being said, I just can't. Oh, you Cal see that? Oh, you see me? <laughs> you feel me? Boy, Cal. <laughs> 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 but so okay so you go to utah and you have the best time of your life and you're like i'm committing here you don't even go on the other three visits because you can get five visits you need to go to two well u-dub offered me late because mm. boise coaches went to u-dub what well, was playing like, like, utah, we like bro like what was that bro like? it, was, it was great shoot i mean the fans you, these when you play in there it's, it's crazy yeah they, they fully bought in it's bought in your rival when they at, travel your rival game is who utah State, BYU. 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 Well, y'all be crazy. wearing them all red jerseys, huh? Y'all got all red? Our all black is crazy. Have you seen our helmets? Yeah. Our helmets are ridiculous. Some are hand painted. Do you guys wear the all red or I'm Trevor? We we have all red. But the all black clearly is not, crazy. Clearly all not your favorite. Is, no. <laughs> we had the, the one the one that was crazy was the all white. We had like a chrome helmet. 
I'm not nasty. gonna lie, college them chrome helmets go crazy. Crazy. Like Baylor, Oregon. I wouldn't know. I said, Cal, let's imagine the Saints dome. That's how our stadium was. So they really go hard for the use. We we got we got a penalty one because our student section was so loud. How what? so what is the penalty? It's it's it's, outside, it's What's it? our student section was, it was too like, loud. Wait, what is the outside? ref call? Yeah, I've never heard that. I've never student heard that. Student section before. too uh, loud. <laughs> like the the flag, you're like, what happened? They're too loud. <sighs> Only in Utah. They were complaining. Only who Utah. was the team? I don't know who we're playing. How is that possible? I've never heard That's of this. That's a real life penalty? I've never heard it of was this. that game. The ref soft. They must have been mad at us. The ref soft. I've, I've never heard of this. No doubt. The refs have way too much power in this game, anyways. Th that's not a rule. Like, there's no rule that your fans can't be excessively you loud. You should have Bobby Boucher them. You should have just, just like went yeah, ahead and dropped kicked them one time. the ref. Like, Bam! Get your shit together. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's finish this game. All right. So you go to you go to Utah, and he goes crazy. Stupid. Only go for there for three years. Express program, which. I'm a, I highly approve of. What express program? The express program. The three, it's three year. years and out. Yeah, yeah. it's the Bama way. <laughs> three years out. Oh, that's just that. Yeah, really clearly broke. not too many youths do this. Wow, but you do. <sighs> you did. Let's not. Yeah, let's not. Let's not talk. But about I'm it. just saying the express program is what we call that. It, you know, it's like three years and out. Like, yeah. But you guys probably redshirt first and then go. It's not years. three years and out. Like it doesn't matter. Like you do three years and you leave. Yeah, whether you redshirt, whether you redshirt and then play two more years, it's three. You, well, that's what you say. Most of like, the guys that go there don't play for the first year. Right. Who is most? Who? Most of the people who go to Bama. Who is most? Most of the Them. people. <laughs> they. It's not. It's not me. <laughs> I didn't say he, your Heisman most. Trophy winner. We know the first Alabama Heisman Trophy winner because yep. he's Hemothy. Him Duncan. Him. <laughs> Him Hardaway. Him Hardaway. Junior. Mm. That being said, all right, so you at you at Utah, interceptions going crazy. Yeah. Most interceptions you had a season. What is what is your best like interception? Like you remember, like your most favorite interception from, from college? Where's Cal? <laughs> I'm trying nah. to I'm not I'm not trying nah. to drop the F bombs. No, 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 Mm. Can't take off. <laughs> That's down. That's crazy. But it was live. My dog, 30 starts, 189 tackles, four tackles for loss. So you was up in that action too. I had some tackles for losses. Forced fumbles. I had some forced Three fumbles. fumble recoveries. All Pac-12 twice. 11 picks. Who done? Law have mercy. First team all academic. First team all at hey, mm. details. Let you ain't gonna get that know. too many times to have a, a, a full time starter. Normally, them them all academics are guys. Anyways, all academic, <laughs> second team all American. Normally, normally the all academic are guys who never really not playing that much, so they're focused on. But he had a four point five. He had a yeah. I said most, and he graduated in three years, which I was going to do, but I left early. And I didn't no, go I back. left early and I did my work in the elite. Yeah, you did good. Because I didn't. Blessings. <laughs> Major blessings. You inspire me. All right. So anyways, we're going to get to. Yeah. Yeah, we're we going we gonna to get to. Before we get to the lead, we're going to get to. Damn, But I bro. like to call that. Oh, this is really hurting them. <laughs> I ain't never heard the. <laughs> <laughs> really think about it. Before we get to the I lead. I did my work in the lead. I'm like, I didn't. What do you, what do you tell me? Let's not make this about you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we go. Uh, we gonna introduce the two minute quick hits with my college graduate compadre, Marcus Williams. Two minute quick. Hits. Two minute. Yeah, two minutes. You know how? Come on, man. Oh man, you know how important. You gotta minute watch. Is. Yeah, two you minute know, drill. Two minute drill. What you mean? What the heck we talking so about? So we 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 throw we throw stuff at you, and you got a first thing on your mind, man. Oranges go. Yeah. Oh oh oh! You ready? You ready? When I click, you start. How? Black and gold or purple and gold? Purple gold. Ooh. Grass or turf? Grass. Stadium or dome? Dome. Hot or cold? Hot. Favorite jersey combo? All black. Which team? Ravens. Mm. Boy, Man coverage smart. or zone you coverage? Zone. Spades or Uno? Spades. 
Who's your GOAT safety? Marcus Williams. <laughs> Strongest arm in the league. Strongest arm in the league. Dang. Who? I pass. Trickiest quarterback to watch. Pass. Dang. <laughs> what DB has the best hands in the league? Marshawn Lattimore. Fastest player in the league. Ooh. Tyree Kill. Mm. Cool Ranch or Nacho Cheese Doritos? Nacho Cheese. Oh. Favorite snack? Favorite snack? The damn... One minute. Flaming Hot Ruffles Jason Tatum's. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite food? Fettuccine Alfredo. Best concert ever? Chris Brown. Best, tra best trash talker in the league? You know who it is. Chauncey Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> best pregame get up? I don't know what that means. What? Favorite NFL jersey, not yours. <laughs> Favorite NFL jersey, not mine. Shoot. Can I have two? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cam Jordan marking him. Oh! I don't. What was your 40? Minute, 30 seconds. Four, five, six. Max bench press. <laughs> Dang. Better be 365. There we go. Favorite interception. You already told us that. No. Nope. Favorite you... teammate. Favorite teammate. Ooh, favorite, favorite interception. That even includes the league. Yes. Ooh, versus. 147. My first one, Cam Newton. One mm. hand to big. 150. Favorite teammate. Pass. Too many. <laughs> favorite TV show. Martin. Your most favorite, your most famous friend. Two minutes. Too many. Best football f movie. Waterboy. Ryan Delay. Best rapper alive. Pass. First celebrity crush. TV commercial. Megan Good. Your current fa celebrity Good crush. Megan Good. Mm. Reviewing a play. Again. Best dress NFL player. Just flag at you. 221. We had some stuff we sawed out on. Tupac or Biggie? Too young. Favorite New York favorite Strong artist currently? Review. Chris Brown. 230. He just came out with the whole like double album. And he's upset Yo, about it. I don't know your name, <laughs> but excuse me, miss. I seen you from across the room. <laughs> so I got to admit. Oh, man. And they got me. I want to say yo. <laughs> yeah, that was a great one. I can't one. sing at all. Yeah, that was a great one. I used to love the crime. I used to hit that. the strongest arm in the league. Yeah. Josh uh, Allen. We've they been say Josh Allen. That's but what, honestly, I, I need to see Jameis and Josh go at it. because Jameis has an arm. Like, he's gunning. And he, like, even he answered. He was like, Josh Allen. I was like, that's taking yourself out of that. I like what you did there, but I need to see it. Because Jameis be. That boy said favorite NFL jersey, not yours. Because I was going to say mine. Because <laughs> <laughs> mine was hard. <laughs> mine is crazy. <laughs> what number are you over at? Uh, 32. At, it look good too. The three two look kind of car. My favorite number though. I've always what had it, it since I was a kid. Really? What number you was in Utah? Twenty. Cause thirty two wasn't available. I like dub. Hence your dub. Yeah, twenty dub. Got to or, the or is it dub because of Williams? It was dub because of Williams, but in college it was just dub because I was number twenty. Dub ski. Dub. Big what dub. What you're gonna do, dub? What you're gonna do? And we then play Call of Duty all the time together. He's my best friend. My best friend. And then he gets to the league, forty second pick overall to the New Orleans Saints. And he was he had a chip on his shoulder. I went forty second overall. I don't have as much money as you. Did I mean, you know, you have you? a lot of it. I have a lot enough. of it. No, but listen, man. I remember we uh, drafted this young kid out of Utah. I'm like at twenty years old, mind like, you. I'm like who at twenty? Twenty. Because I thought I was young when I came in. I'm like this dude is twenty. Like in season 20. In season, like playing at 20 years old. Like that's wild. Young. Starting. Starting. <laughs> There's a lot of things that Marcus Williams does and he doesn't Started well. all 15 he games is. he played in as a rook. Mm -hmm. You missed one? I think so. Dang. Why just miss one? I mean, that's how you know you're old because you know you, you only miss one and you play 15. There's a 16 game season. There's now currently 17, 17. games in a season. Yeah. Oh. And they don't, and they prorate it. It's not like you get paid more. <laughs> they spread it out over 34 weeks. Oh, well, not yours. Actually, guys, if uh, if you had an older contract pre the new CBA, you get prorated. Um, so you get an extra game check. <laughs> but there's only like 40 of us or so in the league that d does that. I'm confused. Just thought I'd add that in. What you mean? We, we, every day. We, we've had the same contracts. What no, no, no. But so if you had, if you got a contract extension or a contract deal done pre this CBA, pre the 17 games, like beyond like a year or something like that, 
that 17th game, they just prorate it in. So if you're whatever your game average, so you get is, more money. Yeah, God is good. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Every time, hey, you can't help it. Hey, if, if if they close one door, God open another one. This dude cannot help it. I promise. You. Marked his winners. Hey, I hear you. I don't blame you. <laughs> I didn't know I'll either until my agent told me. Too. Look, I, my agent told me he's like, you know, you got an extra check coming. I said, like, look at God. Well, look shoot, at I got an extra check too. I guess I can go I'm buy the wife a shit. new car. <laughs> 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 Hashtag Santa running back. It's a thing. Like apparently, the running back is is a dying position, and not dying in terms of uh, guys not being you know drafted, but the value of running backs has. Well, sort of you know, everything has to go perfect for you. You know what I mean? For you to get a nice deal. Everything has to go perfect for you. Team right love system, you. team love you, production, health. Everything has to go right for you. I mean, at every position, obviously, but especially as a running back. It's crazy because I still think you're one of the best backs in the league. Well, I appreciate that, bro. It means a lot to me coming they not, from you. They don't, they don't see that, though. It, and it's tough. It's tough because out of all the production, every time you get in, you get production. And it's, and it's valuable. It's not like you're just coming in giving... In the weak minutes you coming in every chance you get you going off with, with energy that. though like with I, energy. after the after like seven it's like seven people hit him he coming up ah. <laughs> boy wait, boy wait. like it's the hardest four yards you ever gonna see it's an eight it's an eight or nine box stack he, he changed the dynamic of a team I from the locker room does. to to the, on the field you change the dynamic and that's invaluable like not a lot of people could get that well, I appreciate so, that, brother, for real. Yeah, it means bro. a lot to me. See, and that's what means that's what matters the most to me is when my brothers that I play with tell me that. That's why I go hard for y'all. Tell you. That's why when I get up and I <laughs> <laughs> it's for y'all. It ain't for them. It's for my dog. Man, right. you scored you scored before. I scored one time. You only scored once? I yeah. thought you had two for some reason. No, I mean, we, we got the same we though. got the yeah, we got the same number of uh, TDs. I got 15 picks though. Fifteen. I got two. <laughs> so how many? So who has more picks than you, if anyone? It's since like, you've it's entered like the league. what two or three people? Two? Some people. Yeah, there's a lot of people. No, not in not in your span. Like when since you you've came entered in, the since league, you came in. Ain't since no you've way. entered the league. Oh, like my class? Yeah. It's like since you came into the league in twenty what seventeen? That was your rookie year. Like my class? No, no. Just like since you've entered the league, Corey. We need that stat. Since since you've entered the league. Who you don't know, obviously. Yeah, we'll look at that. I know, I know Simmons, Justin Simmons has a, a lot. Is he your class? He has like, he's one year old. You said yeah. since I entered. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, he's had a lot, but if you Simmons. take away, if you could take away his, his sacks he had, or his interceptions he had his rookie year and then go from there. Like I said, we'll look it up. It's we'll, from 27. We'll get that stat. In Simmons has like four more picks than me right now. Really? Or like three. In his career? Like or in his career. career, yeah. But we're not saying that because like if he you had to, five picks. You have to take picks, away his, his yeah. interceptions rookie year. Yeah, you have to take nine other guys. See? In that span. Or just yeah. overall. Since 2017. Yeah, there's, there's some That's still not a picks. lot though. That's a lot. So what's, what's, the what's the interception going And like? if it wasn't for Cam, you'd probably be higher at the list. I probably would for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, that came back quick. <laughs> he said, we'll come, here we go. I, would have, I would have 20, I would have 25. <laughs> you gonna say I took 10 away? Like, like, like five. Like two. Like, like five, three. for real. Like two or three. I remember two offside penalties you had. That's for sure. I mean, that's, one against Russell Wilson. And if they're offside. One against Jameis. Why do you remember their first names? Like, what are we doing here? Um <laughs> because I remember those clearly. Yeah. That because that one was in the back of the end zone. Obviously, <laughs> yo. But like, you came into the league as a rookie, like just straight flaming, bro. Like, like going crazy, like starting, impacting a defense that needed help in 2017. Need? What did I tell you when you got here? <laughs> I said, I said, look, he man. Said, thank you. <laughs> he said, I said, thank you. I need you. What do you think was the you. key <laughs> for you, like transitioning from college to going to the league and just being able to be a plug-in player? and then play a significant role on the defense and improving the defense. Man, I just came in and worked. I mean, I wasn't looking at it as any other way, but I need to come in here and, you know, help the team out. I wasn't looking at it as far as like, this is like, this is it. I'm looking at like, we gotta, we gotta go. Like I'm coming in here, this is my team. Everywhere I go, I feel like we're gonna win. Yeah. So if I come here, I know I gotta be a, a factor to help and build the team up, no matter if it's a vocal leader or if it's just by my actual leader. Mm -hmm. I wasn't big vocal guy my first year, by far any. 
But I know I led by example by the weight room, yep. film room. By the way you work. The way I work. That's how you earn respect of veterans and your peers. So I feel like I did I did that. And I mean, other guys will come to me. I'm like, dude, I'm a rookie, but yeah. they, they don't see me like that because I had the knowledge. Yeah. And I was always working, put that extra work in. So I think that was my, that that helped yeah. in building, you know, that culture that we had. Even even with older guys, I mean, they weren't, there was no egos. So they were like, okay, we'll, we'll we we hear you. Right. Sometimes they think I'm too goofy, so they wasn't listening. But <laughs> that's because your mustache been. and beard weren't connecting. They weren't. You had no facial hair then. Nah, he had zero beard hair, like zero. This, this is this is almost impressive. I, stop. I keep cutting up. it. Look at yours. Fu Manchalorian. You need to stop doing it. Fu Manchalorian. That's new. You know what I'm saying? Fu Manchalorian. No, but I've always been a big Marcus Williams fan. And one of the big reasons is like, you know, we hate to talk about that Minnesota game. We all hate it. But like how you bounce back from that, bro, and you got better as a safety, you got better as a person, you got better as a player, bro. That right there. Like show me like who you truly are. Like, you know, you was my boy, like you was my guy. We always played the game together. But how, like you said earlier, like how some people get knocked down, they stay down. They'll never come back from like uh, a tough situation. You used a tough situation and catapulted you to a different level of how you play, a different level of everything. You know what I mean? Right. Like, what do you think from that moment like helped like catapult you to a different like echelon as, as, as a top safety in the league? Like, I know none of us like talking about that game, but that game I felt like was a turning point, like in 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 your. Not only, I'll say not only for the defense, but for you, like as a, as an individual. I'm right. not talking about. I'm not talking about the defense. I'm talking right. about as an individual. That game was a turning point. Like you went back to the drawing board. You worked. You grinded, and you got better every single year. You got better, bro. And that's something that I admire. It's something that I appreciate because everybody is okay when you're a front runner. But like when you get down, you have a difficult situation and a tough situation. Like, how do you respond? And you responded like a big dog, like right. alpha, like an alpha, like like an alpha supposed like to. the alpha dog right. you are. Like you responded like the alpha dog you are, bro. Yeah, I think that adversity just that it just sparks sparks some in in your body in your mind. Like like some people are they're just too quick to give up on on things that are hard and tough. Some people like, fold. They fold. I'm not. I mean, I've always learned like there there may be bad things that happen, and but at the end of the day, you can always come back from it. I mean, there's a lot of people who are gonna look at that and be like, "Oh, we hate you," but at the end of the day, they're not the ones out there. They ain't the ones doing Listen, it. Everybody I'm can balling. say what they want because if it wasn't for you getting that interception earlier in the game, we would never had the chance to come back. Bruh. Yeah. So people could say whatever they want about Marcus Williams. They don't know football because if you didn't had an interception, you weren't making the plays that you was making. You had big tackles. You had interception that brought us back that catapulted us to come back into that game we would have never been in the position to be Bro, in the league it was halftime and it was it was zero to 17. yeah like, it was goose egg at halftime we came back with the, with the lead and yeah. then i had a chance to win it but that being said you know we we talked we talked immediately in the locker room and then i had to go back out there for the <laughs> field goal oh yeah we was all we, we that play happened we all go to the locker room Referees come like, hey, we still got a field, a field goal team. Timo like leads the charge, puts straps on his helmet. Right. I'm like, all right, well, damn. I was like, who else gonna go? I had to go out there. It's just trifling. Anyways, that off season, bro, you come back even better. Take off your 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 second I year, say sophomore year, <laughs> your second year in the league, go crazy. You started off 16 games, premier starter, mm. leader of the secondary, like that guy but that's what we talk about you know what i mean like some people fold will never be the same from that you use it to catapult yourself to a different level of play and like yeah we got to the playoffs the year before with it ended NFC, with minnesota yeah nfc wild card come back nfc championship NFC championship game rams rams crap oh Frank. my goodness <laughs> crap crap <sighs> crap that was tough too i remember after that game bro i used to go to chick-fil-a every monday right because it's closed on sunday yeah, you know, let's go every Monday, Chick Fil A, chicken the biscuit. Lady, yeah, but the lady, um, she came and gave my order, and she was like, just crying. She just was like, you guys did so good, like you guys deserve to win. I'm like, I show you the love from New Orleans. I'm, I'm, though. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna cool. tear up over yeah. this damn vanilla shake. Give like, my I'm vanilla like, shake I'm, and my my chicken biscuit. I just want my large waffle fry, my twelve count, my. Large Sun Joy is what they call the Sun Joy, not an Arnold Palmer. Mm. They call it a Sun Orange juice. Uh, no, it's Arnold Palmer, half sweet tea, half lemonade. It's called a Sun Joy? 
It's sweet tea and lemonade. I don't know. I don't drink that stuff. I drink freaking cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> cranberry, juice. <laughs> cranberry juice. Really? Not like cran apple? Uh, whatever, apples, whatever. Cran apple's low key under. Cran apple's good too. I mean, I but cranberry juice, like whatever cranberry juice. Okay. You know, cran apple, cranberry juice. Have cran you done grape. Cran, cran grape fruit? Cran grape fruit? Yeah. No. Whew. Crazy. You do like the grapefruit. I do you, love grapefruit juice right now. Yeah, the the grapefruit be going crazy. Now. Anyways, not about me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> NFC Championship game, we lose to the the Rams. Uh, and you know. A lot of people started to counting us out. Drew had missed five games that year. Yeah, six games that year. Did he? In the NFC Championship game? No, that was the the year after. That was the year after. after. That was the year, oh, after. That was the year after. Because I was in Baltimore, Baltimore. Mm. I was in Baltimore because I left. Right. I got booted. Third year. I got booted. That was your third year. You that was my third off. year. Yeah, your third year. You went off. My third year had like yeah four five, picks. Six. At like four picks, four 15 picks. PBUs. How many PBUs? Yep. 12 something. They're going crazy. Pick six. <laughs> that was the year I picked six. Mm. Wait, Wait, how so long what? was the return? I don't know. Jameis threw it to me. 55 yards. <laughs> 55 <laughs> yards. Interception. 55, 55 yard pick six. Mm. Tell us the play, man. What was going through your mind? Man, you know. Do you remember just, the play? Yes, he does. Yeah. So that being said, <laughs> do you remember the defense? Were you covered? Were you sure, man? No, we was in zone. Zone two, three. No, we was in like cover three. What do you want me to draw it? Yeah, I just like you. You want you, me to expose yeah, your defense? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's illustrate. Uh, he said you want well, me to expose like, your like, defense. <laughs> the play that was it. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you you caught a crosser? Did you catch one over the no, top? No, it was just like it was just like Mike Evans and the other receiver, and they I think they ran the wrong route. Hmm. I think Mike Evans did like this, but I think he was supposed to go like this. And I was here. I went over here and I was draw first. And then I need you to show the camera. Oh, sorry. This guy right Please. here. You want me to do all of that? <laughs> just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, rem I can't remember the whole you offense. Just, you can just show you, you, what yeah. you remember. Yeah. Yeah. I just know. I just know that we was in a cover three. And cover three means you have. But it was a different type of cover three. Mm, combo. It was more, it was, uh, it was something that we had, had just been working on. I don't even know. We, we probably didn't even run out a lot. <laughs> so you have a third, you have deep third. I had a third. Okay. Deep third is, I need you to explain deep third. If I tell them deep third, I'm, I'm thinking it's like hash mark to. Deep third is a third of the field. There's three, there's three deep safeties. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and I was supposed to be pushing past the other half. Matter of fact, it wasn't even cover three. <laughs> we were disguising. <laughs> so okay. it was cover two. Told you it was uh huh. I, I said told you. I said it's got to be cover two. I said you said cover three. I said we don't play too much cover three. Yeah, it, we, do, we play a lot of cover three. Hmm. Play a lot of Dallas. We do play a lot of Dallas. I mean, sorry, y'all play a lot of Dallas. You used to. You got away from it. So corner comes back. Then I push. Then I was in the flat. When you say push, push what? I push to the half. These people I don't know. Just, Explain, Sorry. yeah, yeah. Explain this like yes. I'm five years old. So explain like I'm in I, kindergarten. I start in the middle. I push to the half. This corner goes back to the half. Then everybody's. You want to expose your? Yes. No. no, no. We'll just, anyway. we'll just leave. We'll just leave it that. What are you doing, Doug? I'm. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna be in the half. I'm gonna control like half of the field from the middle to the sideline. This guy ran a dig route, which he wasn't supposed to. He was supposed to run a seven. And this quarterback. <laughs> threw the James. football to me. And then I ran. And then I spin the y'all ball. Y'all say you cut back a little bit. It wasn't just a straight run. Straight run. Straight run down the side like nobody to get me. <laughs> this guy was trying to run. I think he was hurt a little bit. And then here comes Cam Jordan. And we're celebrating. Celebrating. Me and Cam. So what was you thinking when you was running towards the end zone? Like finally, <laughs> it's too many picks and I don't have a inter, uh, pick six. You spun, spun the ball and I spin that jump. <laughs> and what you and Cam do? Your handshake? No, no, we, no, no. we, we was, jumped. Yeah, we jumped and then we was out there pointing at the camera. You know, well, Cam was pointing. You know, well, he did it, but we lit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Marcus, we did it. Yeah, I did it. Okay, duh. fifty-five yard pick six. Many more to go for my dog. Man. So. 
So he got to get another one. Yeah. yeah. I need I need about five pick sixes for it. Yeah, easy. Hey, and in any season, you know, when you don't get picks early. I think I had a pick every in the first game of the last four years. You go on a dry spell of like three, four games, no picks. Tough. What gets you through? When you look around, you're like, he's got five picks. He's got. They come in bunches, right? I'm missing yeah, they mine. Come in bunches. I mean, I just, I just think the next opportunity is mine, too. I never know. Gotta when gonna believe come. next opportunity. Next goes. opportunity. You gotta believe it every time. You it gotta be a believe tip it. Tip pass, whatever. And I'm thinking, oh, you come in my. It, got, it gotta be me, <laughs> right? Hey, I can, I can attest because as a running back, you got ten carries, twenty yards. That's ugly. It's so ugly. dark. But the eleventh one, it's my turn. Even if it don't, it's gonna happen on the twelfth. It's gonna happen. Keep on knocking the door. Yeah, gonna eventually break it. down. Man, I had another pick, huh? In the back of the end zone. Who was that verse? Tennessee, huh? Yeah. Tough. Caught back. Mm. Rough in the passer. Mm, mm, mm. Which is such a bogus call. Thought it was you. He, but oh, it wait. wasn't. First of all, first of all, dub. Anytime a flag is thrown and it's like he has a, a like a, a PBU or pick or something like that, he's like Cam. Like, I there's, assume it's like there was one time I wasn't even on the field. He's like, I thought it was you. <laughs> How? Thought you, thought you're, it. You're, you're, you're vehemently said, going out of your way to mark me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Anytime there's a flag, I think it's you. He's like, this is your D-line. It is. It's your fault. It's your fault. That makes some sense. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Cam's like, so? Still got another down to play. Mm. Hey, you missed one? Get Still back. got another down to play. <laughs> Four more. You could have had twenty five pictures. Hey, but when you get a what, when you get an interception, what I'd be like, I'd be like, bruh, if you can get one, you can get two. Yeah, shoot, I'd be trying. Because <laughs> we all know, hey, they, things come in bunches. They, they do. Once you get one, but he's so rangy. They don't even like to try a dub too much. Like they don't even like to try a dub. Like not straight up, but like they they be trying them in. Like, they try to look <laughs> off, and you know, <laughs> yeah, they'll look me which, off. Which or quarterback has a great like look off? Like Matt Stafford, they say has the you know tricky one. You know who? You know who Pat had Mahomes. a. Matt, you said Matt. I didn't play Master. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. How to pick? Oh. oh, got caught back. Bow. Bow. I knew that was coming. As soon as he said it, I remember that one. I was like, I remember that. That was in the Lions. Yeah. And where did Cam Yeah, move? of course. It wasn't Cam. It was. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was Anzalone. <laughs> but he came my way. Like, he doesn't care. He comes my way. <laughs> Every time something goes wrong. Bro, imagine. Yeah, it's your fault. Listen, these are all picks that got caught back, though. Like, he, like, he don't. Like what? Like how many picks did we got called back, though? At least five. Bro, at least ten. <laughs> That's a lot. That's my hard. rookie, my rookie year, I had one on Tom Brady. Yeah. Got called back. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, then a couple from you, one from yeah, you one from Jameis, one from Stafford, one from uh Russell Wilson, mm -hmm. another one from uh Jameis at our house mm. down south. I don't know what what that was. Your memory is impeccable. That's pain, though, bro. That's bro, that pain. is tough. That's pain. Like, when you get a TD call back, that's pain. I had one versus Patrick Mahomes. Mm. Did they get a call back? Call back. Shh. That game where you, was you that, know. What I, did I get ejected for that one? Yep. You got an interception on that play? Not that play. Oh, I was going to say, I, allegedly, they say I jabbed a buddy, and, and I don't but, even know but, who he think is. Think about all these picks. Yeah, yeah, I got ejected. My daughter was born like I remember that. I'm like, later, I was so like, it wasn't all bad. They're like, you ejected. I was like, I was like, I looked at my coach. I was like, what do I do? He's like. You go home. And I was like, all right. And then I just stayed in the locker room till I watched I watched them lose. And I said, all right. Before they came in, I left though. Like I just I watched it on TV and I was sick. I said, I looked at my phone, wifey was like, I'm about to have the baby. I said, I know. Okay. What year was that? Cause I remember I was that like was last that year. Was, yeah, two years ago. No, that was no, yeah, I wasn't was I wasn't ago. with the team. I that was wasn't with the ago. team. That was two years ago, dude. Oh no, it was, yeah, it was two years ago. Yeah, I wasn't with the team and I was just like, Cam got ejected. I'm like, that's Bruh. Not, that's unlike him. Cam trying to nope. tell me like I didn't know. I was there. Bro, hey, when I, I tell there. you, bro, I only missed one game last year and that was because of COVID. She was supposed to have the baby so like say. four days like into the week. You feel me? And on Sunday morning, we're at the hotel Saturday night. So I'm like, yo, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Her mom flew in, so we're good. And I'm like, all right, well, at least it's a home game. Like if something happens, let me know. I'm like, it's literally like three or four hours before the game. And she's like, hey, don't want to make you nervous. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what happened? But, I was like, I was but, like, what happened? Your, your water broke? And she's like, yeah. yeah. I was like, all right. all right. She's like, well, you don't seem too pressed. I got a game. So just let me know, like, is it like go time now? And like, I can leave. Like, if I need to leave, I will. And she's like, no, uh, I'll let you know. Like, so right, literally like, you know, that warm up period. I'm like, all right, so do I need to leave or not? Like, I need to know, do I have to abandon my, my squad if my child is being born or like, can I stay? Yeah. You know? And she's like, no, uh, I'm whatever. It was like, oh, I'm, I'm like, 
whatever the you know situation is. Yeah. So we had hella time. Yeah. And I was like, all right, bet. I was like, hit me. I was like, uh, I'll hit you after the game. And she was like, oh, you're not gonna stay on the phone with me? No, I gotta warm up. And like, you say you were good. Your mom's in town. Like, all right. Yeah. Like, as long as you're good, I'm good. Like, yeah. we're good. Next thing I know, somewhere in like the third or fourth quarter, I do a spin move. This guy, like this office lineman was like holding me. And yeah, then we're like punched. doing some hand games. Like he put like he he hit me, I hit him. I do like a, a spin move and allegedly close the fan. It wasn't alleged. Close my fist, but I didn't feel it. Close my fist. Hit buddy in, like in in the chin, yeah, and I'm also like head, but everybody before the game. So what did he facts? Do, I'm a warrior. No what, helmet did he, on. what did he do, Dub? No, no, no. He's, he's he's saying pregame. Like oh. I will smack somebody without my helmet. I don't care. Like when it's go time, it's go on time. On their helmet. That's why you have with no head. Right That's most likely. I don't give. I don't give two fucks about like, how I look. Mah. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you got like a little permanent padding right here. I like can you, believe that. Like a little you, little arch. It'll probably yeah, like, it'll, it'll probably release when I retire. But yeah, you like you know, like he. I've been head- headbutting him since you know our rookie year. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I don't, ah. I don't need a, I don't need a helmet to hit somebody. Like, I was born this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm built for this. Don't hit me without my helmet. Like, you know, I will. Like, whatever. So either way, I get ejected, and literally like two hours later, my daughter's born. <laughs> so, so I know I watched you walk in the locker room. <laughs> I was out of there. I was like, yo, y'all good? I'm sorry, I wasn't there for y'all. I was in there in the locker room. I'm sorry. When you walked in, I'm sorry. I said, Cam, what are you doing? Yeah, you got hurt that game. Yeah. <laughs> Dub never gets hurt. Yeah, he got hurt that game. But, hey, I walked in and Dub was like, "You too." Ankle. I was like, "No, rolled I got it. Rolled it, rolled it, rolled it. I, yeah, I, I, I remember that because I definitely looked you in your eyes. I'm like, Cam, was, what are you doing? He's like, "Yeah, I got ejected. Yeah, I got ejected. <laughs> I'm gonna go see my child." All right. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. So my dog continues to prove his value to the team. Anchors the secondary. Continues to start every game he plays in. Continues to be uh, one of the best safeties in the game. Mm-hmm. Fourth year snaps even better. Hey, after the season, they then hit him with that franchise tag. And if you don't know what franchise tag means, is they like have this formula where they take the top five salaries. Which was it? In your, in your position. And then they, they you give you that the for case. the year. I didn't get the top five average. How well, not? It's called a franchise tag. I didn't get the top five average. Well, then would you, then how is it not a franchise? It's from like the previous year, not the year. I don't know about that. There's discrepancy. Anyways, he was, was. I know your year. Anyways, he was upset. Oh, you had an old. And what did I tell you? No, it's because of the COVID year. Remember the cap? The cap. Oh, the cap oh yeah. yeah. Wow, that affected franchise tag. Yes, that's what I was telling you. So they. That's why they got me for cheap. Err. And you were mad, I remember. And what oh, I tell I'm you, mad. I and, and what did I tell you? How dare they give me only ten we're, million dollars? Game. You snap harder, you gonna get that. I told. Bag I, said, next year. I said. I said. I said. I said. All you do, if you have a season anywhere like you just did, right? You get whatever you want. If you have a season better, you you price Write yourself your own up. check. And basically, he snapped and wrote his own check. And Baltimore bags you up five years, big money, seventy. Million? We don't talk numbers, but we will. Never, with what's the seventy million co- seven million dollar contract look like? What that signing bonus like look like? Yours? Nope. I'm what only, that signing? Hey, I only, I only know what that signing bonus look like? Because in Baltimore, they give you the check live. Big wait, big signing bonus? They give you the check live, Cam. You don't hear me? You know, you know. Uh, Most times they just they depo- just they normally try to like dabble with your signing no, check. They like, try to like just direct deposit it. Mm-hmm. No, Baltimore give you that live check, like big check. Live check. Like they know you won the lottery. Come get this. I took it to the bank. Really? <laughs> I said, excuse me, sir. Uh, I have to bring a check in here, but I don't want you guys to be concerned about how much is on this check. <laughs> I don't want to have any problems when I come in here. Sure. Oh, I'm going to come right to the mouth. He's like, okay. I'm like, I don't want any problems. I'm going to come have in here problems. and deposit they see, this check. They see, what, they see the headline of that check. It says wait, Baltimore wait, Ravens. Let's just slow this down. Live check. When you said live check, I was thinking like a big little it's show like check. When somebody but you said you live check, like, uh, hey, go cash this. Yes. yes. Like, you're, I need all this like, and Like all millions. your money is on that check. Like all your money is on that check. I don't want no problems when I come to bank. <laughs> you let them know. I, said, I have no my ID. I have my passport. I have everything. I have Real quick question: certificate. Had you had you bought your new car yet, or did you still rock? No, he's no. had the, he's had the same car I since he got, got the car. Okay, he had the same car, a little Kia, but a little white Kia. It's black. Whatever it is, a little white Kia, pathetic little car. We we're like, Dub, go get you a real car. Like it was this little little toy hey, what truck. I tell you, I said, keep driving that car as long as you want. I'm still driving that car. 
Sure you are. Because you're not. You think taking... I'm giving it away? No. You, yeah, you're driving yeah. that car in Baltimore, <laughs> no. right? I'm not taking it either. Cars in Baltimore. What are you gonna drive? I don't know yet. I'm Another carless. one. Another one. <laughs> I'm trying to get what a car deal. This, this, is, te- this is technically his Kia, third. Give me a car deal so I can have a free car. Yeah, out there. he's technically on his third contract. I'm you technically need, on my. You need a truck contract. though, man. It'd be snowing out there. Kia, give me that tell you right, and I'll be good. What is what is that? A tell you right. Tell you right look like a Range Rover. Okay. You just got tell you right because it's a Kia. Mm. It's an SUV. <laughs> it looks I'm like a Range Rover. Not getting in no Kia. Um, but uh, anyways, you hate it. Facts. I hope you get your tell American, you right. American made, preferably. Got dang Ford, uh, Escalade. All right. Uh, you buy Chevy. Me, you buy me. A you truck. bought a Lambo truck. I ain't buying you shit, duh. You're rich now. Who said I bought a Lambo truck? K Dub. <sighs> okay. Who said I bought it? It's not a good mm. look. It's not a good look. Mm. <laughs> 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 no, no, but man, what you looking forward to with a new squad, man? Hey, like, it's you, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters. Ooh. Oh my goodness, man. Chuck Clark, Patrick Queen. You got Big Calais up there. It's got Justin Houston over there. You got the young buck that just turned up, little rookie DN. Yeah, uh, Adafe. Yeah, Adafe. Oh, Adafe. Yeah. Adafe. I don't know how to say his name. But That's how you say. You got Matt Abike. This boy know every every team. <laughs> I I'm know just that. starting to know, learn them. Yeah, hey, Man, I, 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 hey, Dafe. hey, train training camp over there was different. Like locker room, like is it weird going you mean to mini camp? Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, is vet mini camp is it? Is it I call I call the whole period OTA. So is it different? Camp. Yeah, no, it's not really. They, that they play around still. They're like, yeah. yeah. I, 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 that's what I try to tell people. I'm like, when you in a good place, like you're in New Orleans, a good organization, like, and you go to another good place. It, you could like, you could tell, you know what I mean? Like yeah, Baltimore they, they is a cool. good place. They embrace me. The locker room is tight. Like the, the the dudes in the locker room tight. The organization is first class. The whole DB core is paid. Big bag. Who's ours? Yes. Is it? Yes, Marlon has a hundred hey, M's. Marcus, Marcus Peters Marcus got, got bread. Chuck Clark got bread. Marcus Williams clearly has bread. Probably one of the highest paid DB rooms in the league. That's why you have no receipts. Damn, that defense dinner gonna be that amazing. Not our fault. Hey, that defense. The, gonna the be money amazing. has to go somewhere. You guys don't have any receivers. You can draft them. They draft some. I, I that's don't what they do. This. Well, I you guys do have there. receivers. You guys do have receivers. Bateman. You know what I mean? Rashad Bateman. Mm-hmm. Solid. They just drafted a guy. I like Duvernay. You, you know got, what I mean? They got rid of Hollywood. I like Proche. Wait, are these names? Yeah. yeah. Slapping. <laughs> they sounded like like uh, oil like oil companies. I think the guys we got will be just fine. Pro they sure. are. You guys got dogs over there, and you got Lamar Jackson. But Lamar's that guy. El Freaky got Gusto. Got J.K. Dobbins. Running back. I'll say. Hey, I'll say J.K. Dobbins. Boy, J.K. Y'all got some, Gusto. Y'all got some? Gus Edwards. Y'all signed Mike Davis over there. Mike Davis went over there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Like I said, y'all, Mark y'all gotta, Andrews, Mandrews, one, Nick Boyle, I'll say one of the best tight ends in the game. Ricard. They got some guys over there. I done heard. Yeah, I done heard. I done heard some things. Should be a good. It should be a good year. Yeah, what you sure. looking for? I say, yeah, we there, need man. to know. Hey, the bank be going up too. Ooh, yeah, the bank be going up. Mark too. Marcus Williams, aka Marcus Allen Williams, aka Dub. At hey, you the you gonna bank. put it up there though? The intros be going cry. Y'all, right. y'all do have like y'all do have some fire intros like I've always have from Ray Lewis with the fire going beside as he comes out you know what I'm saying too has like his little T sizzle he had like a little mound of grass he like pick up and like smell or something like. weird um, <laughs> yeah T sizzle sizz 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 used to sizzle go crazy was fire Chandler Chandler uh, Chandler high guy but he yeah. comes Hamilton Whatever. I'm looking forward to seeing you up there man because the Ravens always have great safeties man and so I know. You're a real, you're a real Ravens. Type I just need to know for this season aspirations. Like clearly, you're going, you know, you're going to defer and say team is going to do. But I need to know, like Dub, you've already had five sec, five interceptions in career. Fifteen. Fifteen. Well, five, five in a season. season. Okay, yeah. That was what I meant. You had five interceptions in a season already. Like, what's what's the next landmark? I want to get a Pro Bowl. Mm-hmm. And I want to get an All Pro. Mm-hmm. Pro Bowl sometimes is just fan. I, I hear it. Yeah. it. It does. I don't really care. But you want it. But I want it. I want it. I want it to be like even even you know just. 
I don't need it, but when it's next to your when it's next to your name, it feels like nice. All pro, like you call Mark All Pro three times. Like no, I'm not. I haven't been All Pro, unfortunately. Pro, Bowl, pro Bowl. Yeah, but. three time Pro Bowler. Yeah, pro Bowl. Still made Pro Bowl. All Pro carries more weight to me, but I should have made Does All it? Pro. It's just writers before. though. All Pro is writers. That I think I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think they like. They, they've been, been covering the game, fair. so they know, but they don't know. We do a segment called "Grinds Your Gears," man. Like one thing that grinds my gears is hotel checkout times. Like you check in at four, but they want you out at eleven. Like, I just don't make it make sense. That. Give me a full. You know day. what like, grinds my gears is when I'm in LA and I have to drive back to Orange County, mm-hmm. and there's too much traffic yeah, because it's fault. two p.m. Yeah, that's I thought you fault. lived in Calabasas. What? No, I just made that one up. Yeah, that could be our fault. <laughs> the OC. Mm, good, good yeah. area code. So that's what grinds your gears, huh? It does. LA traffic. It grinds my gears. <laughs> it's OD, bro. It was nine o'clock this morning. And it was like traffic stacked up. I said, bro, it was 10 o'clock or maybe it was 10 o'clock. It was still traffic. You text me what time? It was like 11? It was 10. <laughs> bro, you text me like, bro, look at the traffic. I'm in. I said, it's 10. Don't people have jobs? Right. Where it's like, you got to go They're to work. They're on their way. Still. <sighs> it's summertime. They woke up late. So what else grinds your gears? Like hotel checkout time is just, I don't know if it's just offensive. What else grinds my gears? People who show up late. I hate when somebody shows up late and they tell me if they're going to be there at some at this certain time and they're late like, like you, get, like, you, you get like a 15 minute grace w- window like but what's your like if you like hey meet me at 12 30 what time do you they expect need to be there at like 12 25 we have we have defensive dinner at 7 30 p.m and you, i'm there early but you know what time i'm showing up am i in the grace period or am i out of it you're in the grace period you get there like 15 minutes uh, it's always about 15 minutes i don't want to be the first anymore yeah, 15 I'm, is I'm okay. first and i'm leaving as 30 soon as the gets there. and then all we have left for you is this man rating which most of the time it's disrespectful. We're gonna see if they put respect on Marcus Williams' name. Heck no, mine's probably like sixty five. No, I know they be disrespecting me. They are disrespectful, when, bro. They they like, oh, Marcus Williams is one of the you know, it's more savvy. I'm like, no, range is safety in the game. Probably most. I'm gonna say when you talk best safety safeties in the game. game. You cannot talk the game without having Marcus Williams in a conversation, and that's been for years. No. So if you don't rate as such, you're mm-hmm. disrespectful. Super. What what is what is the Madden rating? Yeah, seventy five. Madden rating eighty four. How do you feel about it? I don't care. Don't play Madden. Mm. Just a rating. I don't really care. People, yes, it's it's like that's for, that's for people who play the game. Yeah. You used to play. I never played Madden. Two K. Two K. You know what we play? Call of Duty. Do, 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 do. We Call shoot of Duty. guns on the game. On the game only. I oh. shoot them in real life too, but at the gun range. PS five, Xbox. PS5. I got a PS5. I don't not get the invite. You don't, don't even. You don't we even have play PC. video games. We have PC. That's not true, bro. I play Rocket League all the time. Like what? In fact, I, me and my son play you Rocket League so Nintendo much. 64. I had to hit my PR. Rebecca Otto was like, "Yo, we need a Rocket League link." And then last year we linked up. It was the greatest thing ever. Shout out Rebecca Otto. You do a lot of stuff. How about you start getting other people involved? Yeah, you selfish. You are very selfish. Wait, fellas. <laughs> Fellas, I I literally do I not come to the lo- to the locker room and be like, hey, this is what I got going on, this is what I got no. going on, this is what I'm making, this is what I. Yeah, I'm like you're an open telling book. Us what you're doing, you're yeah, not because saying- I'm trying to give you like a benchmark of hey, this is what I need to go like, ask for. Like, yeah, I don't want I don't want somebody to be like blindsided. Do we like, have the hey, same agents? Sort of. Oh, we're in the same realm of family now. Same agency. Yeah. Yeah. You get, sometimes you got to get beyond your marketing. Or- yeah. Yeah, but you but you could also help us. You could also help me. Hey, Deb, I got this new thing that I'm working on. You you want to? Do I not? No. Oh no, I don't. I don't do the second part. I do the first. I'm like, bro, I got this thing coming on. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I don't know how to add like, somebody into like, the hey, Deb, I'm doing this. He's like, hey, Deb, I'm doing this commercial. Guess how much I made? Ah, Sixty thousand. Bruh. For what? Ah, three minutes. No, it's like it's like three hour shoots, four hour shoots. Mm-mm-mm. But I did a lot of shit for free the first like four years of my career. Ah, quick two hundred thousand. What no, a quick two hundred! I've never made two hundred thousand in, in 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 a in a one off situation. See, see, how he had to be, be literal. <laughs> see how literally he had to be. If yeah. it's a partnership, it's it's a partnership. So over time, and I can't like over some years, I'm sure that has. Like, where are you looking for support though? Like you, you like looking over my right. This is Mr. Frito Lay himself. Like he has like real life as a high Frito Lay. Like you know, as a Heisman Trophy winner, you're guaranteed to get contract money for the rest of your life, like commercial money. This is not Heisman, true. The Heisman commercial. This Nissan. is not true. 
Subway. He's lying. <laughs> it's not true. So you don't have Heisman commercial that they call you for? I did it. How many years how I've many? been in the league? 12. And how many commercials I've been in? Four. Five? So it's not guaranteed every year. Okay, I'm sorry. You're guaranteed to be in the pool. Like, you see the Heisman commercial, it should be like Tim Tebow, who hasn't played since. It'd be like, you know, all the Marcus, like all the old running backs, all the old guys who have won it. You're like, you're good for life once you hit that. Like, there's nothing in this league you'd be like, hey, man. You don't get paid for winning a Heisman. <laughs> but you get paid by the commercials. If you're chosen. When you're chosen. If. When How much you get paid? <laughs> it depends on who you are. Mm. Well, you, you are yeah, Mark Ingram. Mm -mm. So if you're chosen. Mm. Yeah, but you get chosen more often than not. I've only been in there like four times. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a one third, third of, of the that's, time. That's a third. That's not enough. That you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you're lying to the people. Mm. Just because you win Heisman doesn't mean you're contractually guaranteed to make money. Contractually guaranteed for the rest of your life. To do what? To be called the Heisman. <laughs> That's it. The first Alabama Heisman. Yeah, but you get paid for that. Sometimes. <laughs> like, okay, fine. I will see, we'll see this is a hill that he's willing to die on. Um, <laughs> I'm not willing to die on the hill. <laughs> but you're just wrong. You're not right. Well, you're right. You're right. But mm -hmm. you're not right right now. Yeah, I understand. Well, we appreciate you having on. Mark, Mark takes it out. Yeah, man. Man, what a great day it is, man. I got two of my brothers man my real like you know blood brothers you know what i mean sure. like have on have marcus williams on the podcast with us man just one of the best guys that i know one of the best safeties in the league 15 picks perennial starter it's like christmas you know christmas comes up every year marcus williams is going to be a starter on whatever team he's playing and he's going to have interceptions and he's going to be the best one on the field so we had my guy here, entrepreneur, give back to the kids, does the camp every year, Marcus Winters camp. Just the, the man of all trades, man of man of all things, many, many very talents. versatile. 4.5 GPA. 4.5 GPA. I don't even know what that looks Academic like. All-American, model, <laughs> model citizen. <laughs> I mean, what else can we say about Marcus Williams other than he's the man? He says he's marked as the winner. Mm. Got my co-host here, Cameron Jordan, on the big all decade, of. going to get the franchise record for sacks. Mm. It's happening this year. Need that big legacy. Vibe. Seven Pro Bowls, four All Pros. Three, Dang. three. Speaking the other one into existence. This yes, year. Sersky. Exactly. Need and, that. Uh, more guaranteed money on the way. And uh, I am your fellow Heisman Trophy winner. First Alabama Heisman Trophy winner. Mark Ingram II. Mm. Just my brother's keeper, as I like to tell you. When they need me, they know who to call. Okay. Ain't nobody going to have it back more than me. Mm. So that's what we call the biggest of the trust of the levels. Season three mm. with Marcus Allen Williams. Huh. Cameron sure. Tyler Jordan oh, Lord. and Mark Valentino Ingram the second. Ooh. Mark E V closing it out. You feel me? That's how we do it. On the biggest of the trust. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Uh.